We're going to work on interpreting the accounting equation uh, with the class exercise that's been posted for you, and here it is. So let's look and see what we have. We've got one, two, three, four, five, looks like nine transactions, and they've been recorded in the accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus equity. And equity has been split out into contributed capital and retained earnings, which you're used to. And retained earnings goes up by revenue and down by expenses and down by dividends. So this is all very familiar. And now let's go through these questions that are ask, asked about this grid here. The first one, which transaction above reflects a contribution from owners? So the column in which contributions from owners would be revealed is in contributed capital. So we're going to go to that one and we see, oh, okay, we do see contributed capital going up and cash going up. So that transaction A is the one that reflects the contribution from owners. So we would put A there. All right, let's look at number two. Which transactions above did total assets not change? Okay, so these columns here, these three columns here, are assets. So here assets changed, here assets changed, here assets didn't change because they netted against each other. Right, total assets didn't change at all. So here they netted to zero, and the other side was also zero, and zero equals zero, so the counting equation did stay in balance. So this would be C. And let's see, this one, total assets changed, total assets changed. Here we have another one where they netted out and total assets did not change. Uh, what about G? Same thing, it netted out. So we have three transactions where total assets didn't change. It doesn't mean that no assets changed, but one asset went down and another asset went up by the same amount. So the total didn't change. All right, then it says in transaction F above, why isn't there an amount in a retained earnings column for revenue? All right, let's go up to F. This is where we have apparently bought land, and that would not create, that's not selling something to a customer. So in order to have revenue, we have to have a transaction with a customer. Number four, how much pro is the profit for the period? So the profit for the period would be revenue, those two added together, minus expenses. All right, and the green square, ah, what is the green square? So here's the green square. That's your cash flow statement. What's the blue square? This blue square here is the balance sheet. This is all the items on the balance sheet, all the assets, liabilities, and equity. All right, let's move down here. Which transactions would be reported under investing in the cash flow statement? So under investing, it would be the buying or selling of investments or a long-term asset. So buying and selling land would be on there, and buying and selling land would be on there here, but none of the other transactions. Uh, which one would be reported under financing? That would be getting or repaying debt or transactions with owners. So here, they got a new loan, so that would be financing. And let's see, did they have any other financing? No, but they've got a dividend here, and that would be reported because that's a transaction with owners. So uh, what we're hoping to do is start recognizing these transactions, and we could figure out without the words what happened. So here cash went up, come stock went up, so that is uh, owners contributing cash to the business. Here cash went up, and notes went up, loans went up, so you got a loan. Here cash went down and land went up, you bought some land. Here accounts receivable went up and revenue went up, you sold to customers on account. They haven't paid you yet. Here you sold to customers, see the revenue going up and cash going up. Here you sold to customers for cash. So some customers haven't paid yet, some customers have paid. Here you bought some more land. Oh, what happened here? Accounts receivable is going down and cash is going up. So some of those customers you paid for um, excuse me, that you sold in transaction D are paying you now. Notice that when they pay you, you don't report revenue again. You already reported it when you made the sale. So when you make the collection, you just cancel the IOU and record the cash. And then here it looks like you paid for some kind of expense for the period. Could be salaries, could be rent, who knows. Um, and then they paid a dividend. All right, keep going.